Hello everyone, I am Kim Lucen and my partner is Samuel. We are team Nanyang AA and are from Nanyang Primary School. Today, we will be presenting our experience with RCAP Cold Space Robot Rescue Challenge. We are both in Primary 5 this year. We both live in Singapore and this is our first Cold Space competition. We both have been doing robotics CCA for one year and both have experience with Scratch. Simio has a website showing robotics interests while I have coded some robots in real life. The executive summary of the preliminary challenge is to program the robot to collect objects and deposit them into deposit zones to earn as many points as possible. You also have to avoid traps along the way. You are in the category Cold Space Rescue U12. However, we face some problems like the robot getting stuck in deposit zones especially when not loaded, but I'll cover that later. The objective of the preliminary challenge mission was to search for five types of objects red, cyan, black, super and super plus to, and to collect and deposit the objects in orange collection boxes to receive points. We would also avoid traps as all objects carried will be lost when entering a trap. We used algorithms to maximize time and avoid traps. However, during our initial testing, we encountered three main problems. One, getting to the deposit zone. Two, getting to the deposit zone quickly and efficiently. And three, not getting stuck in the deposit zone with no items. Our first problem was that the deposit boxes were small and placed in two opposite corners. Hence, the robot would take a long time to get to the de deposit boxes and often get trapped trying to get out of the deposit box. We approached this by programming the robot to follow the wall only when loaded objects was more than four. I had discovered how to do wall following while I was testing other strategies. This was the initial call for wall following. However, although the code works and the robot is able to follow the wall and head to the deposit zone. It is very slow and it wastes a lot of time. This was our second prob this was the second problem we encountered. We approached this by by coding this coding the robot so when the it veered out it was parallel to the wall and then we maximized its speed. As, as shown in this video, when the robot has more than five options, the robot <coughs> would move very fast when it's trying to go to the deposit zone. The, our third problem was getting stuck in the deposit zone without items. This was our code to get the robot out quickly. As shown here, the robot does not have any items but has walked into the deposit zone. And it has turned around to get out of the deposit zone. Sometimes, the robot did not always perform as expected, usually due to typing errors or wrong sequence of program or time issues. Whenever the robot did not perform as expected, we would run through it. We would run it through a program debugging to check. The DARPA Robotics Challenge was a prize competition funded by the U.S. D Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Held from 2012 to 2015, it aimed to develop semi-autonomous ground robots that could do complex tasks in, in dangerous, degraded, human-engineered environments. 
By treading a robot's wall for a roll, the robot can find survivors next to the wall and avoid dangers by detecting cutlers on the floor. We can also train them to put casualties on the ambulance, like how the robot deposits objects into the deposit zone. While our code achieves more than 1,000 points most of the time, the robot still often gets stuck. If we had more time to work on the challenge, we would try to collect two sets of red, cyan, black, and black objects to generate super plus objects on each deposit. We would also learn more about the different commands and possible strategies to try to improve our robot. We have learned that Ghost Space Rescue is not easy program to program. Working virtually with a partner is also not easy, and the good program requires time, effort, practice, and lots of patience and perseverance to solve problems and to keep trying to improve the code. We have also learned that watching previous RCAP Academy videos helps, and we have learned coding and robotics skills and what a robotics competition entails. We hope to improve our skills for next time. Thank you everyone.